Welcome to a special holiday episode of Hair's Story for all you pet lovers out there. Today here at Paws Way, we're here with Master Groomer Cheryl, who's going to show us some special holiday tips to keep our pets looking great this season. Here with me is my handsome cat, Honey Boy, who's coming along to get in on the photo shoot. Oh, there's my boy. Uh, There's my boy. Hi. Hello. Hi. What's his beauty regimen? Well, um, you bathe this guy probably once every month and a half. Mm -hmm. You want to use like a baby shampoo. Uh, you oh, don't okay. want to use any kind of human product because, oh, sorry, well, adult product, I suppose. Anything that's too harsh. The pH levels. And exactly, stuff, yeah. yeah. He's a Pyrenean Mastiff. So he has two different coats. He's got his guard coat and he's got the soft undercoat. So when you're using, when you want to brush him out, you use something called a rake. Right. And this basically just gets in and takes out the undercoat. All the stuff here that turns into tumbleweeds in your house. Yeah, that's what accumulates, right? It's, it does. It's what's underneath. It's the undercoat. This yeah. stuff here is more coarse, and this will stay. It's the undercoat that they shed. He's got um, some colored dye in his tail, and that's just colored drink crystals. Like Kool-Aid? Like Kool-Aid, oh, yeah. Cool. This way, if he does lick it, it's not gonna hurt him. None of this is toxic, so yeah, you really wanna be careful to make sure you're using all non-toxic stuff. And then we can put some um, of the nail polish on. They come in pens, so you just basically, you dab it like that, and then you just put it right over the nail. You wanna pull back the fur first, right. because in that way you can not get any of the nail polish on the fur, so pull it back. And it's non-toxic, so if he was to go and lick his paws right now, it wouldn't make any difference, it would just taste gross. You get mad if he had to redo his nails. Yeah, he would. A little one. Jordy, come here. Jordy. She has the Christmas colors, so he's the Hanukkah dog. Green and red nail polish on. And her green and red in her hair. He's such a chill dog. He too. is, yeah. He's really well behaved. It's funny, like, um, the bigger the animal, it seems like the more gentle they are. That's like, how just it is. chill, right? Yeah, it's so true. You're a chill boy, aren't you? And something, too, that's cool, actually, right now with the Purina um, contest on, it's when you, you get your dog all ready for the holiday season. Mm -hmm. You can take a photo of them, upload it to www.wonderfurwinter.ca, mm -hmm. and you have the chance to have your dog or cat on next year's packaging. So yeah. yeah, isn't she cute? Good boy, what's this? What's this? Yes. Ready? Work with animals is always such a challenge. You always have to figure out new ways of working um, with all the different animals that we meet in the studio. It's a fun and engaging uh, job. Oh, look at that drool. Go, oh, I do. So different things that we love to use are if the dog's really toy motivated, we'll definitely use toys and squeaky Find balls. Find out what their kryptonite is. Almost all dogs love their treats. Mm. So we use a, a variety of different treats as well as some dogs just do it for praise. If the best thing is hearing they're a good boy, then you, you kind of dole that out uh, to really get them excited and energetic during the photo shoot. Ready? Oh, good boy. Good dog. Really good secret is what I call getting down to the animal's eye level. Typically down low to where they are, or if they're a small animal, maybe elevating them up. And if you're on eye level, I know just from our shoot with Honey Boy earlier, yeah. that I noticed if you've got their attention on that level and you're talking and saying all those keywords that they know that, yeah. that uh, we did earlier, that it's they're much more engaged with Absolutely. you as well. Yeah. So I just want to thank Pawsway for having us at their beautiful venue for the Purina event today and also to thank Cheryl for her expert grooming tips and Jason from Jason KB Photography for his expert tips on how to get your best holiday photos for your pet this season. Click here for all your holiday hairdo how-tos on Hair Story. Subscribe if you and your pet want to look perfect this holiday season.